In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four options funnel design in PowerPoint. Let me just show you how it works. When I click, it will show you the first step A. You can see here, this is a 3D shape. Actually, this is not a 3D. I have made it look like a 3D. Then I have put some arrows there, which is pointing towards the, the hole there. And it gives the, the first option, which is 100% awareness. And you can add some detailed text here and on my next click it will show the step b with 90 percent interest then comes the step c with orange color with 50 percent and then the step d is action with 30 percent so uh, let's see how to do this funnel design in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and from basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size later on we can increase or decrease the size not a problem then go to shape outline make it no outline and you can just choose any color of your choice let me just select this turquoise color then i'm going to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid something like this you can see here and again shape outline make it no outline put it exactly in the center and then i'm just going to edit this shape before editing let me just rotate it i'm just rotating it flip vertical and then right mouse click edit points you can see there are four points i'm going to give it more uh, curved in the uh, bottom so i'm just going to select this point and you can see here there are two small square shapes i'm just going to drag this down you can see here and then i'm going to select this and make it down so you end up getting this shape and then i'm going to make it somewhat shape like this this one can you see this also and here also i'm just going to make it something like this so we end up getting this shape i'm just going to select this and send this to back if you want you can make it more up then i want to make a kind of a hole where i want to make a kind of a funnel where the things go down for that let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape again in the center you can see here shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to fill i'm going to select the gradient fill so by default there are four stops i'm going to delete two stops the first stop i'm selecting and i'm going to give a black color something like this and second stop i'm going to give the same color which of this one and then i'm going to make it fully transparent you can see here this also make it less somewhat transparent so you can see sorry you can see here it looks like a hole here and this color also i'm going to give the same color but i'm going to give more uh, darker or you can give a gradient also let me just give gradient to this so i'm going to select this one the same color and this one i'm going to select more darker color you can see here or i can just select the same color first and then more colors i'm just going to increase it so you can see here it looks something like this let me just make it more inside so you can see here the shape is ready if you want you can just make this a 3d also i'm just going to select this and then you can go to the 3d format and i'm just going to select maybe uh, this one angle you can see here and then you can just play with the the lighting and material let me just select maybe this and we'll just see what is the best for us you can see here whichever best you can just select that one so they have got plenty of options okay let me just select maybe this one now we have completed the first uh, shape now it's easy for us to duplicate this so before grouping if you want you can add some shadow effect here and let me just do some more modification for this i'm just going to select and the lighting let it be the special flat and the material let me just change from the plastic to the metal so it looks something like this 
and I'm going to just change the color to somewhat more lighter color maybe this color now once this is done I'm just going to select all you can press ctrl a also and then press ctrl g to group it so this is the first step then press ctrl d to duplicate it hold the shift key reduce the size again up, up to your requirement you can see here before that let me just go and change the color some other color nice colors you can see and this also i'm going to select the green color and here i'm going to select the green color but going to make it somewhat light okay and then this also color i'm just going to select the same color which is the same here so it looks more darker and then just send this to back and just place it here something like this so this is the second option then press ctrl d again reduce the size and change the color of your choice and paste it here so let me just change this color to for example maybe kind of a orange you can see here and this also i'm going to make it one dark orange and one light orange and this also the center one i'm going to make it the same orange color you can see here if you want you can make it full transparent also so it looks something like this then again just bring it here and send this to back and here also you can just reduce this size you know the size should be somewhat smaller compared to the first one this also i'm going to make it somewhat smaller and then you can make one last Control d again hold the shift key reduce the size and then change the color of your choice let me just change some gray color you can see here and this also i'm going to select the same gray color and make it fully transparent and this also the combination of gray color here if you want you can make it light and dark gray then let me just bring it here and send this to back so you can see here our basic funnel design is ready now again if you want to increase the size decrease the size in that case you can just select all press ctrl g to group it now you can increase or you can decrease the size so once i'm going to place it here and then we'll add some arrows now now if you like you can just change the background uh, so that i can give a light and gray color combination you can see here and let me just move it somewhat here and you can just add the arrows to add the arrows there are two options you go to insert shapes either you can use it uh, this one which is the arc or you can use uh, this also which is the curve so let me just use curve i'm just going to click here click one more time here make it more curve you can see here and double click and give this as a gray color sorry shape outline give some gray color so that it will be visible and shape outline the weight you can just increase it and then you can the end arrow type you can just select maybe so that is the begin and arrow type is this one so you can see here you've got the arrow let me just increase the arrow size so you can see here and then press ctrl d i'm just going to add the other side rotate it flip horizontal you can see here let me just put it somewhat down and i'm going to add one more press ctrl d and just reduce the size you can see here and place it here still reduce the size so these are the some arrows if you want some arrows you can add it here also again to add go insert shapes select curve i'm going to click here once here one and then just bend it double click sorry let me just do it again go to insert shapes curves click here one here and double click and the same color i'm going to select this format painter click on this you can see here then double click sorry just do, control d format rotate rotate and put it here one reduce the size you can see here control d one more and again rotate it 
further reduce the size place it here and then you can add one more go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one which is freeform shape click here hold the shift key double click and again go give the same effect i'm going to select this home format painter just click it here so you got this one i'm going to place it exactly the bottom so you can see here our design is ready and if you want you can add some shadow effects also now to add the options go to insert shape select the oval shape draw a small shape by holding the shift key and i'm going to use the same color which i have used in the background and shape outline if you want you can give it white and increase the weight you can see here and i'm just going to put the percentage how much percentage for example say this is 100 percent i'm going to put it here make it a white font bold again reduce the font size center align and just put it here something like this okay let me just increase a little bit and if it is white is not visible you can use maybe black also here so it is more visible then select this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate so this is my second one third and fourth then just change the color according to the the funnel so let me just select this this one this will be orange and then this will be gray color all right so you can see here then just change it how much percentage maybe this is 70 percent this is a 40 percent and say this is 20 percent and then you can just add the titles here go to text box your title here make it a white I'm going to use the font called Oswald you can just place it here and then you can add some detailed text below and this one I'm going to give somewhat light gray reduce the size And then I'm just going to select this, press Ctrl G, Ctrl D to duplicate, just place it at the right place position and make sure that you align it properly format align left and this also should be aligned with this one. And then you can add one line go to insert shapes select a line draw the line you can see here give the same gray color increase the width a little bit and I'm going to give uh, dotted lines and then send this to back so you can see here the design of the funnel is ready That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.